Sup, 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 gamers. Here we are with Xanthar Von Collector in Skyrim once again. And before anything else, our sponsor, H2O, baby. Oh, man. No, guys, I'm, I, I'm not going to lie to you, but water, it, it's it's there for you. Purchase it. I mean, ideally, there's no, drink water. Everybody should have water. So drink some water. If you're not drinking water, what the hell are you doing? You're wrong. All right. Um, we got, we got plenty to do. Um, we're actually gonna wait in town and sell some stuff real quick. And I guess, I guess we'll talk to Jari, Jari, Jari about employment, but we're not going to get too far down his, uh, I'm going to get too far down his uh, quest line today at all. We're just going to pick up the quest and that'll be it. Um, but yeah, no, then we have some like bandits to clear out and stuff, but yeah, all stuff in solitude. Not in solitude, but in and around solitude. And uh, maybe, just possibly, later we'll, today we'll get on to, uh, maybe, maybe doing more of the Civil War quest line, but we'll see. For now, gotta sell some stuff before we go, because we are, oh yeah, 523. Yeah, we, we, we're, we're, we're packing, we're packing, packing pocketfuls. Okay, where do I want to go first? Oh, we'll ju here. Let's get this over with. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. Mm -hmm. You're passing through solitude. Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold. Yes. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister DJ and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, turn me in for what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your yeah, task. Yeah, I think even if you go to a guard so, now. Yeah. you could cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Okay. Potions first, potions first, potions. First and foremost. And I might go in here and she might have zero money, because I do not remember if I sold stuff to them last time. If you're looking for po you were there for Rogvir's execution. Perhaps, but necessary. As you know, my cousin Fura died out there fighting for us. She wouldn't have had to if it weren't for Rogvir. True, true. Thank you for helping my aunt earlier. Where I'll is your you aunt? Because I guess I can just only buy from your aunt. There you are, hey. I hope you So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Uh keeping that keeping that for sure. I think I did go through and sell shit already. In which case It's the always the dragon bones, ain't it? Ain't it the dragon bones and the dragon Alright, here's the thing. We'll sell two of this. Okay. Don't forget me next time you meet. It's the dragon bones. It's the yes. damn dragon bones. Too heavy. Um. Yeah, just bits and pieces. We'll clear out what we can. How do you know if you see anything you like? Viren said you got here just before. Th oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, yada yada yada. That I'm not going to use. I, yeah, I can. Okay. 
Okay, glass sword, keep that around. Apparel. Light stuff, light stuff. Let me see your soul gems. Gimme, give gimme give all your soul gems, honey. Ooh! Oh, oh, baby, I love ya. Sama, 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 Sama. That's just what I want to see. Nope. Ingredients. Nope. Books. Oh, yeah. It's most likely all the books and the dragons, dragon bones I'm carrying around. Okay. But is there anything else that I want to drop? That's right, I got this. I'm not giving that up. I'm not selling that. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Come back to bits and pieces. Yeah. Anytime. 486. We got this. I will definitely, after this episode, need to head back to Whitewood, though. Yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason, Atha or whoever isn't coming out of their house. So I cannot get get my gold. Can't get my gold for my, cure, uh, my bounty. I cleared out. Some bandits for them. I can't remember exactly where. Oh, Wolf Skull, I believe. Citizen. That's me, a citizen. Just a common broken ore was where they were. Okay. But I'm going to. No, now I'm headed to Wolf Skull. Yep. Gotta clear that out. So we'll do that for sure today. And then possibly head over here to Dead Man's Respite. Actually, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Wolf Skull and then Dead Man's. Because what is Dead Man's? Oh, King Olive. Well, let's first, perfect. And then from there, it'll be an easy short run to white run. Trust me, it doesn't look like it, but it will be. Oh, let me uh, place a marker. Okay. What are we? What are we doing skill wise? So many skills. So all my, all my weapons are equal right now, so guess let's leave it at that and just work on block. My favorite skill. To no, no, I don't want to work on block right now because I actually want to work on um. <gasps> Could she? Tri eh, no, I ain't got none. No, I want to work on light armor more mm -hmm. than block. Sorry, I was lost in the We'll do we'll do a lot of block when we get into heavy armor because that'll probably be. Honestly, that is a really good plan. That'll be my plan. I'll do a uh, block restoration and have a uh, block and restoration once I get into heavy armor. Cause I'm gonna need some help with uh, blocking attacks and shit and not taking as much damage while I'm training up heavy armor. Because what I'm at right now, I'm at like what 25 or something stupid. Oh, I'm at 19. I'm not even at 20. I didn't even break 20. I am an Argonian, so yeah. My yeah. Uh, Heavy armor, inept, uh, inherent, inherent, I'm gonna say inherent, uh, heavy armor, knowledge and skills ain't exactly, you know, up and up there with, uh, people like, uh, Nords and shit. Although I think it's orcs who have the highest starting heavy armor skill, possibly. Don't catch me in a lie there, but, you know, I, that's, that's, that's my recollection. See, I... I think I pointed it out before, but I love how these lasers or whatever stay on, but none of them are aligned whatsoever to the next one they're going to. Which is interesting, because during the quest they look aligned, but you I guess you could argue that. Oh, Debella wants her light to shine through her temple still, but doesn't want it to open doors, so her beam isn't, and it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm going to say the game broke. What? Nah! Yeah, that's how far a shout takes you, about half a cursor length. Or half a... This is you indicator. Oh. What are we doing? Are you another Breton? Another Breton? Heavy fucking... Uh. Yeah, 
No. I want a glass battle axe, and then I want... Maybe it's razor, maybe it's razor. Okay, and give me a resist magic. But do I not have a restore health? I do not have a restore health. Anyway, right now. So... 10 at 150. Oh, well. Oh, really? Come on, come on. Oh, Battle Axe. Y'all, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. Oh, there we go. Oh, no decapitation. Once again, y'all, a Breton in heavy armor coming to fuck my shit up. And with that noise, I hope it's just dying down. But I believe Wolf Skull is right here. What? No! Oh man, I don't think I picked him up. Whoop! Oh. Easy. Now stop rolling. I don't want that. That's not useful. That's not what I want. Rib cages. There's the other one. Oh, they both just... Yep, they both just... Crap. Okay. Alright, onward into Wolf Skull. Well, those are human skulls. Or bones, not wolf bones, so... It's not as advertised so far. Ah, what am I doing sneaking? Pickaxe, maybe there's something valuable in here to mine. Oh, Draugr? Okay. Yeah, just sit down. Just sit down and die. Again. Where's this go, though? Nowhere? Oh, oh, no, it goes somewhere. Oh. Oh. Ew. If I die, I'll really Never save. should have come here. Oh, man. That was really... Man, really dropping. Oh. Who? Let me loot his body as it levitates off the ground and kill it in a second. Where'd she? Oh, here she is. Okay. Coin burst, coin burst. Yep. Okay. Okay, so he didn't get summoned. Weird. That's where I came from. Which, oh, that's interesting. They actually have, like, supports here. Like, very. Interesting supports. Okay. If I were to have gone straight... Oh, it's just right here? Okay, so a Draugr and some mages. Interesting. Duo. Oh, there's another Draugr. Curse me! Read that one? No! No, I do know Stone Flesh. Oh, God, man. Just one little shank, and you're dead. Okay, a hole in the ground. Solid. It's really. Ooh, crater. Nice. So I got both a hole in the ground and a path that goes up, but nowhere. It goes up. But doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Great. Great. Just jump in the hole. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. I'm gonna jump here. Jump. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes, I would have gone back for this. I would have gone back 
prepared for this after seeing it. Alright, now all the way down. Okay. Little sun, 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 sinkhole? Sinkhole? Sinkhole. With nothing much going on, except a torch and a walkway down to Wolf Skull Ruins, wherever that may be. I mean, in Wolf Skull Cave, but for. Oh, this looks. Okay. It's actually a little step down. And I guess a turn or a cave in. Yes, this, this no look too good. At all. Oh, yeah. Whatever they're doing up there, they're probably finished with by the time I get Wolf up there. Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon Potema. Oh! We, we summon, summon Potema. Potema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Potema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. We summon... I'm sure this is fine. And a bunch of and nothing's wrong with it. But why am I using those arrows? Those disgusting Falmer arrows. <laughs> disgusting. No, I don't want no Falmer shit. Give me that glass. Okay. Before this goes completely to shit, let me quick save and hopefully get some sniping done. Huh, huh, well, that's a Jogger Death Lord. That's one there. And that guy died at least. So, just one Death Lord. You, buddy. I'm not gonna try and hit that Death Lord again, because there's no way. Now, you, though. Okay, a white. I can take him out if I hit him again. But he's gotta stop moving. myself and if y'all could stop moving that'd be great yeah 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 I need to level up light armor and everything this I mean this, this, there's a few eggs in here Got the Draugr. Oh, let me move back further into the dark. And not fall off this edge here. Okay. I've gotten... I've killed two enemies. I think that's... I think that's upstanding. Sneaky sneak. Sneak thief job. We're gonna keep moving in. I think he died. It's good news. Well, not good news for him, but good news for me. Conjure familiar. Yep, that's going to be real helpful. Really need to learn that spell. Don't know it yet. I guess, well, I'm level, what, 51? But I guess since I haven't done the uh, College of Winterhold stuff, I'm good with that Moonstone. Um, I guess since I haven't done that, then that's why... Uh, not exactly getting the, uh, you know, fanciest, nicest, or indoor, uh, highest level, uh, spell books and such. Nope. Ah! That was good. Okay, yep, uh, that's, that's a rough one. Okay. Let's get that in here, let's get this going. 
charge. Nope. Let me go to favorites. Uh, yep. While we're at it, just charge them all up. Bum, bum, bum. Nope. Not at all. Nope. Completely empty. I thought that was higher. I guess that doesn't take up a charge, it just happens. We're not we're not busting that Wabajack in here. We got drug or death lords in the arena. Um We're not we're not busting out some uh No offense, Wabajack, but uh unreliable weaponry. You know what? 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 Where is Wabajack in here? Why don't why don't we just get there we go. There we go. Dual wield and danger guard effects. Nope! <laughs> First one was a heal. Oh, that's actually some damage. That's tran okay. He's a he, okay. I'm fine with that. I mean, I prefer loot from him, but you know. I wonder if I can kill him as a rabbit. Nope. He just comes back. There we go. That's that's some nice random damage. Anything? Nope. You're useless. Nothing. Here we go. Wabajack. I actually think Wabajack is affecting the frame rate. Uh, frame rate. Fr frame rate. Oh, let me see. Okay. Not sure if it's because Wabajack, because it took damage from a spell. Need to do more testing on that. I know if you hit them with damage, if you hit um, the hanging, you know, fire bombs. I know if you hit them with uh, damage, damage spells, that it does cause damage and falls as it would. Because you know, if you hit it with ice damage, oh, the the you know, there's reasons for how it could happen. Either the fire like would burn through it, or the rope uh, would become so brittle with ice that they break and fall, or Okay. I think I transformed both of them. Um, or with lightning, you know, you could say the lightning strikes it and burns through. Um, or a different kind of burning of lightning. Anything in the, in this kettle? Man, frame rate in here is horrendous. I'm at I'm I'm stuck at thirty. Yes. Yes. So, Return oh, there we go. Out of summon you. Oh, we're down. Come on, get back up, get back up, get back up. That's what I thought. Yep, let me get some health in here. Uh, nope. This what? Ah, he's warding me. Every time that happens, I'm like, okay, I'm dead, but I'm not, and it freaks me the fuck out. Yeah, I'm not like Wabajack, it's... It seems, I guess because there's only so many magical things you can do to undead, it seems to me that uh, it cycles through quicker than I expected. Okay. Enough of this, buddy. We can... I can shout at you, too. Don't worry. And I guess get some healing. Why not? Yeah, see? Look, we can both yell at each other, and I can get some of my health back with, uh... Absorb health in this axe. Yeah! Nice bow, by the way. Ooh, and arrows. Did I loot you, buddy? Nope. Okay. 
onward and upward, and a quick save, because y'all was some hard-hitting motherfuckers. I think it's just the glowy stuff, because I'm at 30 frames there, and like, oh man. Yeah, it's, because this is 56 FPS. Looking in this direction, 57, 58, 57, 58, and 57, 58, 57, 58, 54, 48, okay, 30. Okay, yeah, back to 40. Just looking down in that direction. Okay, let's go. Give me that hanging moss, give me that Namera's root rot. What was that? There was somebody coming up there to stop this, um... You know. Oh! I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. I'm not sorry at all. I weren't even a full-on necromancer. Pathetic. Oh, ash pile. Ash pile. Oh, that was where I killed those Draugr before. No! Not your s- Oh! I'm happy with that. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. No! Oh. oh man, you're a healthy necromancer. Uh, let's get this magic with this fire in case we need it. Okay. Fireballs, that's the kind of staff I'm talking about. We'll check it out in a second. It's actual stats and everything. Right now we got uh some hanky panky to investigate. Um Man, I thought I was at the top. I got even further to go. Okay. Let's get unrelenting force back in the mix. I'm definitely gonna need to use that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks friendly. It's a tiger. Yeah, it's a tiger. You see, it's got these whiskers. Little, little tiger, tiger nose right there. Oh yeah, and the third Illuminati upside down triangle eye on his forehead, because you know he has fashionable headwear. And look his ears. Yeah, see, just a cat. All right, reading the refugees, which I think I've read before. Well, I have not read it, read it, but I have read it already. So we're gonna read it in game because it's important for this quest, I assume. The smell of the bay oozed through the stones of the cellar, salt and brine. Hold on. Before we uh, do this, let's just save. I'm not saying game would crash while I'm reading, but... The smell of the bay oozed through the stones of the cellar, salt and brine... Salt and brine decay. The cellar itself had its own sense of old wine turned to vinegar. Mildew and more exotic spices of herbs and healers had brought of 
and, and the more exotic spices of herbs and healers had brought with them to tend the, to the wounded. There were more than 50 people squeezed into the big earthen room, which had once been forgotten storage for the brothel above. The groaning and whimpering had ceased for now, and all was still, as if the hospital had turned into a mass grave. Mother, a red guard boy whispered. What was that? The boy's mother was about to answer him when there was another rolling roar from outside which grew louder and louder, as if some great but incorpor incorporeal beast had come into the cellar. The walls trembled and the dust burst from the ceiling in a rain of powder. Unlike the last time, no one screamed. They waited until the weird haunting sound had passed, and then was replaced by the soft rumble of, dis of the distant battle. A wounded soldier began whispering Mara's prayer uh, for the doomed. Mankar. Mankar, a Bosner woman, curled up in a, uh, in a cot, hissed, her eyes feverish, flesh white and wet with sweat. He is coming. Who is coming? asked the boy, grasping his mother's skirt tight. Who do you think, lad? The sweet smonger, a grizzled one-armed redgar growled. The, ca the Camoran usurper. The boy's mother shot an angry look at the old warrior. She doesn't know what that what she's saying. She's sick. The boy nodded. His mother was usually right. He had not yet even been born when people began whispering that the Camo Camoran usurper was coming towards her little village, and she had packed up their belongings to flee. Their neighbors had laughed at her, she said, saying that Rihad and Taneth would handily defeat him. Her husband, Lucar's father, who he, who, who he was never to meet, had also laughed at her. It was the harvest time, and she would miss out on the celebrations. But his mother, Miak, Miakai, Miakai, was right. Two weeks after she fled the village, she heard the tale of how it had been, the tale that it had been obliterated during the night with no survivors. Rahad and Tenith had both fallen. The usurper was unstoppable. Lucar had been born and grown up in a refugee camp in refugee camps throughout Hammerfell. He had never known a friend for more than a few days. He knew that when the sky burned red to the west, they would pack up and move east. When it burned to the south, they moved north. At last, after twelve years of moving from camp to camp, they had taken passage across the Lilac Bay to the province of High Rock and the barony of Dwi Dwiminen Dwi Dwinin Dwinin. There, Mayak had promised and hoped that they would have a peaceful, permanent home. It was so green there, it blinded him, unlike Hammerfell, which was only a green in certain seasons and in certain places. Dwininin was vibrant year-round, until wintertide when it began to snow, and Lucar had been frightened of it at first. He was ashamed to think of it now, when there was real danger, but the red clouds of war, the stink and pain of the refugee camp, that was familiar. Now the red sky was on the horizon of the bay and coming closer, and he longed for the days when a scattering of white made him cry. Mankar, the Bosner woman, cried out again, He is coming, he will bring death. No one is coming, said a pretty young Breton healer coming to the woman's side. Hush now. Hello, came a voice from above. The whole room almost together as one, ga as one gasped. Bosner limped down the shoddy wooden stairs, his friendly li uh, face very obviously not that of the Camorin usurper. Sorry if I frightened you, he said. I was told there were healers here and I could use a little help. Rosa... Rosa Yan... Rosa Yina? Rosa Yina, I'm gonna say. I, call, yeah. I mean, hey, hey, if, one, if anyone actually has a name that is in any of these freaking books, t t tell me how you pronounce it, because they're pretty interesting. Uh, Rosa Yana. Rosa Yanena? Rosa Yana. Rosanna. Unless it's a V. <laughs> Hurried to take a look at the Bosner's wounds. On his leg and chest. On his, look at his wounds on his leg and chest. Disheveled but still beautiful, she was one of the favorites of the at the brothel, who had learned her healing skill along with her more voc uh, vocational skills at the House of Debella. She carefully but quickly pulled the rent leather curious, chassis, tacit greaves, and boots off him, and placed them to the side while she examined the injuries. The old redguard warrior picked them up and studied them. You were in the war? Next to it is probably a... Next to it is probably a better way to put it. 
Okay, I see. Next to it is probably a better way to put it. The Bosmer smiled, wincing slightly at Rosianna's touch. Behind it, beside it, in front of it. My name's or Orbin El Elmlock. I'm a scout. I try to avoid the real battle so I can get back and report what I see. A good job for people who don't like the color of their own blood very much. Okay, that is literally H3IM. Like, like, it's H. I'm gonna say Hazim. Hazim? Hazim said the warrior sh Hazim said the warrior shaking Or Orban's hand. I can't fight anymore, but I can fix up this armor if you're going to return. You're a leather smith? Nah, just a jack of all trades, replied Hazim. Opened up, opening up a small canister of wax to prep the hard but flexible leather. I could tell you were a scout from the armor, though. Can you tell us what you've been spying on? We've been down here for half a day now with no word from the outside. The entire Lilac Bay is one great battlefield on the waves, said Orban, and sighed as Rosianna's spell began to close his jagged but shallow wounds. We've shut off the invasion from the mouth of the bay, but I, but I was coming from the coast, and the enemy's army is marching over the... Worthagaran Mountains. That's where I had my little scuffle. It's not too surprising moving the flank in from the side while the front battle is occupied. It's a play right out of Cameron Caltus's book of tricks the Heart King borrowed. The Heart King, Lucure asked. He had been listening quietly, understanding everything except that. Haman Cameron, the Cameron usurper. Haman Heart King. They're all the same, lad. He's a complicated fellow, needs more than one name. You know him? Miak, I asked, stepping forward. Near on twenty years before his, this whole black bloody business. I was Cameron uh, Caltus's chief scout, and Haman was his sorcerer and advisor. I helped them both when they were vying for the Cameron throne and began the conquest of- Ah! Rosianna had ceased her healing. With eyes of fury, she had reversed her spell, and the closed, mended wounds were opening again. Dark infections returned. She held him with surprising strength when Oberyn tried to pull back. You bastard, the healer courtesan hissed. I have a cousin in Falenci. Falin Esti. A priestess. She's fine, Oberyn yelled. Lord Kaltus was very adamant about not harming anyone who did not possess a threat. I think the people of Kavach would disagree with that assessment, said Hazim coldly. That was horrible, the worst thing I've ever seen, Orban nodded. Kaltus wept when he saw what Haman had done. My master did everything he could to stop it, begging the Heart King to return to Valenwood. But he turned on Kaltus, and we fled. We are not your enemy, and we have never been. Kaltus could not could do nothing to prevent the horror that the usurper has brought to the Colivian Co West and Hammerfell, and has fought for fifteen years to prevent more. The frightening bestial roar passed through the cellar again, even louder than before. The wounded could not help groaning in helpless terror. And what is that, Miak sneered? Another of Cameroon Caltus' tricks that the usurper picked up? It is indeed a trick, as a matter of fact, Orban yelled. Above the screech, it's a phantasm he employs to scare people. He had to use fear tactics in the beginning when his power was ascending, and he has to f uh, fall back on them now for his power, for his power is waning. That is why it took him two years to conquer Valenwood, and another thirteen to half conquer Hammerfell. No offense to you, Red Guards, but it isn't only your bat battle prowess that has been holding him back. He does not have the support he used to have from his master. An echoing roar increased in intensity before once again falling silent. Mankar, the Bosner woman groaned, he comes and he will destroy all. His master? asked Lucar, but Orban's eyes had gone had gone to the Bosmer woman, curled up in the blood-soaked cot. Who is she? Orban asked Osana. One of the refugees, of course. From your friendly little war in Valenwood before you and Kaltus changed sides, the healer replied. I think her name is Callus. By Geoffrey, Orban whispered under his breath, limping over to the woman's cot and wiping the sweat and blood-streaked hair from her uh, pallid face. Calais, it's Orban. Do you remember me? How did you get here? Did you... Uh, wait, no. Did he hurt you? Mancar, Calais moaned. That's all she says, said Rosanna. I don't know I don't know what that is, Orban frowned. Not the usurper, though she knew him too very well. She was a favorite of his. His favorites, you, Kaltos, her, all seem to turn against him, said Miak. That is why he will fall, replied Hazim. 
Armored footfall rang along the ceiling and the cellar door burst open. It was the captain of Baron Othrock's castle guards. The docks are on fire. If you want to live, you'll need to take res refuge at Castle Whitemoor. We need help, Rosanna called back, but she knew that the guards were needed for defense, not to help carry the sick to safety. With ten guards who, with ten guards who could be spared and the most able-bodied of the wounded assisting, the cellar was emptied as, as the streets of Dwynen and filled with smoke, and fire began to spread through the chaos. It had been a single fireball miscast out, of, out at sea, stri uh, striking the docks, but the damage would be tremendous. Some hours later, in the courtyard of the mighty castle, the healers were able to set up the cots and begin to tend once again to the suffering of the innocent. The first person Rosanna, Ro Rosanna found was Orban M. Elmlock. Even with his wounds reopened, he had helped carry two of the patients into the castle. Aw oh, man, she couldn't heal him up after he was like, alright, I'm gonna carry these two wounded. Man, I really hurt worse than when I, you know, I came to you. Oh man, that hurts. I'm sorry, she said as she pressed uh, her healing hands onto his wounds. Okay, I lost my temper. I forgot that I am a healer. Where is Calais? Orban asked. She's not here, Rosanna said, looking around. She must have run away. Run away? But wasn't she injured? It was not a healthy situation, but new mothers can surprise you with what they can do when it's all over. She was pregnant, Orban gasped. Yes, it wasn't such a difficult birth in the end. She was holding the boy in her arms when I saw her last. She said she had done it herself. She was pregnant, Orban mur murmured again. The mistress of the Cameroon usurper was pregnant. Word quickly spread throughout the castle that the battle was over, and more than that, the war was over. Hamon Cameron's forces had been defeated at sea, and in the mountains, the Heart King was dead. Lucar watched down from the battlements into the dark woods that surrounded Dwynan and he had heard about Calais, and he imagined a desperate woman fleeing with her newborn baby in her arms into the wilderness. Calais would, uh, would have nowhere to go, no one to protect them. She and her baby would be a refuge, like Miak and him had been. Reflecting back, he remembered her words. He is coming. He is coming. And he will bring death. He will destroy all. The car remembered her eyes. She was sick, but not afraid. Who was this he? Who was coming if the Cameroon usurper was dead? Did she say nothing else? asked Oberyn. She told me the baby's name. Rosiana replied, Mancar. Okay. Ye olden war. Ye olden crazy people. In a war. Fury, necromancy, nope. Ice storms. Nah, that's a good staff too. This game, give me good staffs, but not good uh, spells. Okay. So, trying to summon a god or a daedric uh, god of some sort. Detect undead. All right, I think we're just walking back now, out of here. Unless there's a word wall or so. Ooh, more castle-y bit. Okay. Nope, just back into Wolf Skull Cave, and this will probably be the jump back. Hey, look, this looks familiar. Yep, awesome. All right. Sorry, gamers. Rule is, if there's a book there and it's like placed for like a reason, I'll read it. Okay, but now, outward and onward to, yep, King Olaf's verse. Nope, nope. There we go. Looking at the time, do not think we'll get there today, but we'll see. Oh, nope, no, nope, that's not what I want. I don't want to be shouting. Well, I do want to be shouting, but the shout that, you know gets me fucking two places, you know, that whirlwind sprint, good old whirly windy sprint, get me from A to B. Let me use it right here. We're not gonna check out Stormcloak Camp. Although, really, Empire? The road is there. I can see the road from here. The camp I can see from here. Empire, you're. you're. The Stormcloaks are bad, like, 
you know, don't really think out their stuff. They're more, you know, they're not the, the tactical geniuses that, you know, the Empire claims to be. But also, Solitude's got a rebel camp literally, like, down the road from it. Yeah. What? Nah! Not very impressed, Empire, with your... Superb scouting, I guess it would be. I guess that would be where the fail point would be, is your scouting. Oh yeah, we scouted Solitude, what do you do? Oh, we walked down to the Sables and back, and the docks, and I think we're good. Alright, we're good then. Oh yeah, we also uh, scouted Dragon Bridge. What'd you do? We walked across the bridge and uh, scouted around the town. Perfect. Oh, oh, that's all the scouting we need. No more. Any more would be way too much scouting. What? How am I get to the entrance of this place today? I mean, we'll definitely get to the entrance of this place today. I just don't know how far inside we'll get. Oh, Hunter. I swear, the number of times I've heard arrows coming at me and turned around, it's just, oh, Hunters. It's nice, like, I, I like that they exist, and it's cool that they actually do hunt sometimes, but... Oh, it gives you, it gives you, it gives you, it gives you a l l little freak out when you're like, why are the arrows? Why are the arrows just being uh, 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 shot toward me or at me? It does does freak you out a bit. I'm probably coming at this the wrong way. I probably should have come from the river. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, man. No, it should be. It's probably just on the other side of this. Let's see if I can fall. Oh. Dragon burial. Nice. Well. Nice there's no dragon there. I'll say that. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, you're supposed to come from the river, but... This is one of the ones where it's not too horrible that you're coming from the backside. Great. Great, great, great. Well, let's get in here. We get to killing. And I believe we're here for, I believe, Red Eagle. The quest. Oh, man. That's just some water there for you. We're not going to do that anytime soon. Yep. Oh, King Olaf's first. That's it. Ah, uh, yes. This is a good long one, so we won't get through it today. Okay. Ghost just chilling there, and he's walking that way. Great. Okay. And yeah, get up. Oh man, y'all are. If this is the way the rest of this uh, dungeon is going to be looking... Oh, well, here we go. Here's the actual heavy hitters. Yeah. Stop rolling. He didn't even get up, buddy. Ah, there we go. Coins, sorry, gold purse. Okay. What's through this door? I want to know what's through this door. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Perfect. Oh, look. Gosh, a dead end room. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. Guess I'll never have to go back through this room again. Ever. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes these rooms are way too obvious. I mean, the ones that are like, literally, it's like, oh, the door's barred from the other side. It's like, okay, I understand that. Like, you could say that a door could be constructed to where it's barred from the side to where it couldn't be open. I did not step on that. I jumped, sir. You didn't see those jumps? Soul gems, soul gems. Just following a ghost. No weirdness, just following a ghost. 
Oh, this will be fun. I love this section. A little confusing. And, you know, I didn't want your iron helmet. You can take your iron helmet. Here. <laughs> loots, a, loots, a, loots a body. Immediately like, ah, let me just put this helmet back on him. Okay. Okay. All blocked off right now, except for wherever that spider's hit me from. I didn't want to do that. Cool. Okay, just a glass warhammer. Too heavy for my inventory. At this exact moment. Mid axe swing pulls out lockpick. I got this, guys. Mmm. Take all that. Okay, it's just floating there. Is that just... It's just screensaver and floating around. What is... Oh, probably the uh, Draugr on the other side of that thing. You can probably... Heard me swinging my axe a bit. Okay. Oh, did I... Okay, so this is one I got open to. Okay, so I got one chain to pull. I think that's it right now. All right. We'll pull the chain then. Hey, buddy. That's where I enter. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I dodged that barely. Game. That's a new one. Reads a book real quick while it's getting frozen. Yeah. Okay. Get some healing back in here. Cause we always need some healing. Soul gem, potion. Give me your arrows at least. Okay. I, I looted you, yeah. Oh, you got... Okay. <gasps> a, a, a Nord buried with an elven mace? Sacrilege. Yeah, I'll keep the horned helmet. It's, it's scaled armor. It should be pretty light. Okay. Now we're back. Oh, here we go. This is... Nope. I killed him, so I've definitely been through here. I've definitely been through here. Oh. I have not been through here. I didn't kill that guy. He must have been dead when I entered the building. Shucks, can't take that kill. But I think we're out of that little maze bit. And shoot. Well, it didn't take damage. That's what matters. Come on, drop down. I didn't want your book. I didn't want your trash, your trash book. Your ruined book. Are you dropping down or not? Because, oh wait, this one I can actually walk on. Okay, come on. Yeah. What have I got magic wise right now? I've got 200 magic. I think I can afford to spend. Because I'm just really. Oh god, that's so much. We'll try it for. We'll, we'll, here, here. We'll put it in the rotation. We'll put it in the rotation of a million different things I have. Actually, it works out really well because it's right underneath. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, I'll only use it if I can afford using it, you know? If I'm not. If it's after battle and I'm taking this damage, I'll use it. But if I'm in the middle of battle, I'll just use fast heal for now. I kind of want to trigger this, but I'll trigger it later. Oh, wait. Does this open both? Just opens the one. Okay, well. I'll check that. Well, I guess I will check that out right now, because I don't see another way forward. Yeah, that's like rock covered in webs. Okay. Although there is a dead Draugr here that I just... I It would be wrong to not loot him. 
Okay. We're going down. And anything of interest? We got... We got a pot filled with dirt. We got another pot filled with dirt. This has been uh, Xanthar archaeology. <laughs> Very thorough. I didn't want to do that. Let's do a quick save. Come a little far. Oh no, Skeever! Man. Really, really, really pulling out all the stuff. I mean, I can't say anything. There was a death ward earlier. You need to die because you got friends incoming. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, double attack. I love it. Love that double attack. What do you got? If any, you got gold. Fine, I'll take your gold. What'd you say to me? Was that an Argo was that a racial or uh, slang against Argonians? Cause if it is, it sounds yeah. like you're more frustrated in the fact that you're a shit archery shot. I should have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna jump back down and take care of him. Don't worry. Possibly. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Just a Draugr. Just a pathetic, normal Draugr. That's why he couldn't hit me worth crap. <gasps> gold, 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 gold. Like I said, y'all, Xanthar, kleptomaniac, especially when it comes to gold and rare artifacts. That's not all my blood, or any of my blood, really. Okay. Magic. This is magic. This is magic. See you potion right there. Ooh, ooh, enchant. Let's, let's do a little enchanting. Let's take a little sidebar here and do some enchanting. Okay, let's look at light stuff, light stuff. Light non-diamond stuff. Let's be specific. Light non-diamond stuff. Okay, light non-diamond and non-emerald. Although I think emerald's weird. No, I think you can get emerald ranks. I know gold emerald stuff is annoying because it's like, oh hey, you can not carry. Uh, you can't carry. It's not that you can't carry. There are no gold diamond rings, I don't think, or gold silver rings, one way or the other. But yeah, I'm either gonna go gold diamond uh, uh, bling on this guy or silver em uh, silver emerald. Or gold emerald, really. Really, I want to go emerald, but if it's just silver, eh, I might do it. But then if I become a vampire, I have to do gold. Well, you got me there. I can't open a sealed door. <sighs> I hear you. You coming for me? Oh, boy. Let's do it. Yep. What? Hey, 95 for light armor. All right, we're officially, we're officially in the, I cannot get any more light armor training. Because that is it. Let's do grand healing, see if we get a level there. Hey, I love that. All right. We're gonna let this, we gotta, I gotta get out of combat before I save and end, the, end, end but we're, we're getting close to the end. Expert, I got this, I'm an expert, right? I'm an expert. Expert. Nope. Expert. Oh, gosh. This is embarrassing. I don't think I'm an expert. I think I'm just randomly trying spots on a lock. Yeah, I yeah, am. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, boy. I'm not. I don't even worry about lock picks. 
I got so much gold and so many lockpicks. It ain't funny. I, wanna, I feel like it's over on the left side. Okay, it's not there. I feel like it's over there somewhere, but... Okay, just crack, 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 crack. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Master, baby. Oh! Oh, it's somewhere over there. Okay. Below it? Oh, sweet, sweet Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay. That we gotta pick up. That we gotta pick up, that we gotta pick up, that we gotta... Nope. Nah, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Awesome. I think that's my first dragon. Is it dra... Hold on, what is it? It's D for... Okay, it's dragon scale, so it's light armor. Okay. That's my first bit of dragon armor I've gotten, though, guys. It's so great. Okay, yeah, come on. Come on. I know you're alive, or, you know, undead. Ah, die. Come on. Just die already. dead motherfuckers. Well, extra dead. Although, no. No, they're not all motherfuckers. It's completely possible for a Nord to die and be entombed as a, uh, you know, in a ceremonial, respectful way and then, you know, to be complete virgins, actually. Or you just, you know, not have, you know, had offspring. Or, yeah. Completely possible. So, Keep in mind, all y'all, not all Draugrs are motherfuckers. But all Draugr do have mothers. Yeah. They do. I mean, their mothers... Well, their mothers could be Draugrs, but their mothers aren't also always Draugrs. Because you could, you could... You could bury, you know, one Nord as a Draugr and, you know, another is not. You know, their mother is not. Alright. We getting, we getting rambly. We're gonna pull that lever and uh, stare down at where we gotta go next week. Which is down a stairwell. And when we come back from that, I'll be headed to Whiterun, hopefully off episode two. Well, if we're on episode, I'll go to Whiterun and drop everything off. And if we aren't in an episode and I get there, you know, toward the end of an episode, I'll be crafting some stuff. I don't know what, but I do know I wanna upgrade some stuff. So yeah. We'll leave it right here. If you peeps made it this far, thank you very much for watching and continuing to uh, show interest in Xanthar and his uh, exploits in Skyrim. Um, I will probably be, I've been testing around, uh, this is not an update for anything but this playthrough, but I'm probably going to try and record Xanthar in longer um, episodes. I will especially be doing that once he actually gets a home base, you know. An actual home house, um, where he can have his home base and craft and everything there. Otherwise, yeah, none, none of the none of the houses in the cities make make good use for that. Um, but after that, we'll be doing some more long form uh, recordings of Skyrim, because um, it just also plays lots more smoothly, in my opinion, in longer segments. But that's enough of that. Um, feel free, of course, if you want to um, like and subscribe and all that stuff that you know YouTube, you know needs you to do. YouTube needs you to do that. Otherwise, they don't have the data on you. Well, I mean, they have your watch data, but, you know, and your watch time data, but, you know, the, the, the data that they don't have on you, they really need you to, you know, input with a little, little thumbs up, you know, light up mark and uh, 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 ringing a bell and uh, pressing the pressing a button. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do that for YouTube, go, go, for, go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, no, thank you all for watching. Um, take care, gamers, and I will see you next time. Cut right here.